Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest .blogspot.com. and today I'm going to show you some beautiful vintage butterflies that I made for um, the Christmas tree. Now these were so easy to make and I made them basically out of stiff felt and glitter and I'll show you my butterflies in a moment but I wanted to take um, a little bit of time to let you know about this um, seller that I found and um, her shop's name is Sugar Camp Cottage and she sells on eBay her name's Debbie she's a lovely person and um, she sells real German uh, glass glitter and I purchased this one ounce bag and I already used some out of here but this is the medium grit and it was two dollars and ninety nine cents and it was three dollars for shipping now for every additional bag that you order she only charges twenty five cents more um, per bag, you know, on the, as far as the shipping goes. And if you're ordering something on a really large scale, like you want two pounds of it or something like that, um, she can mail it to you for like five dollars. But um, she was very quick in sending this, and um, I just love this glitter. I just think it really gave my butterflies that extra oomph. <laughs> and I also ordered some in the fine glitter too because. I have plans for um, this glitter glass in a future project that I hope to be posting in a few weeks. And she also asked what other colors I'd like to see because she had a ton of different colors on her site. And I asked her for anything vintage, so she um, sent me this fine um, grit glitter glass in pistachio. I thought that was kind of pretty and this winter sky blue it's really pretty and I used the fine glitter to um, put on the edges of a couple of my butterflies I made this is um, a vintage pink and she calls this carnation and as you can tell it's 90 grit and I used quite a bit of this um, this is the 80 grit silver okay so now um, I'll have Debbie's links uh, down below in the drop down bar where it says show more and I'll also put it on the very top um, where my first comment is so you can just go right there and click on her shop and she has plenty of stock so um, be sure and, and do that and um, I'll also add it to my blog as well so I'm going to set this aside for now and I'm going to show you some of the butterflies I made Now these turned out so pretty and they were so easy to make and like I said that medium grit glitter just gives it that extra oomph. I thought this was so pretty and I outlined the edges here with um, just extra fine gold glitter through recollections on this particular one. I wished I had asked for um, the fine grit German glass uh, glitter in the gold, I would have used that. Um, but I needed gold to match this. And this is just tinsel glitter. This is Feldspar by Martha Stewart. And you can use any type of glitter and it turns out beautiful. And this was a Recollections glitter I used called Frost and it's a tinsel glitter. And if you notice on the edges I used some of that beautiful um, silver German glitter glass and, and it was fine of course. I thought that was really pretty. I sure hope you can see how these sparkle because these really are gorgeous. And with this white one here I just used um, the Recollections tinsel glitter in Glitz isn't that pretty? And around the edges, I use that pretty vintage pink um, that is called Carnation. I thought it looked so nice. And of course, I'll give you all the links you'll need for the bales and everything. And this is um, one where I actually sprinkled some of the white tinsel glitter on here, like 
I just showed you with the other butterfly. But then um, I added a little bit of the blush tinsel glitter and I only had just a tiny bit left as you can see. So I was only able just to put um, a light coat on this but I think it turned out beautiful. Okay so with that said um, stay tuned and I'll show you how to make these extremely easy butterflies and I think you'll really love it. Okay so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to print out my butterfly pattern that I made for you and I'll put this link in the first comment um, down below my video in the comment section as well as the drop down bar that says show more and I'll also put it on my blog as well. So um, what I did was I just rough cut one of the butterflies out and I stapled it to a piece of stiff felt and then I just took my um, my small little precision scissors and just cut around the butterfly and oops, this is what I have right here. Now it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of glitter on here because that'll be covered up. Just don't get the adhesive back kind. Some of the stiff white felt comes with um, a little piece of paper you can peel off and it's sticky on the back. You don't want that. Just get the plain white stiff felt. And they have this in the craft stores. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to form a skin on this butterfly on the front and on the back. And we're going to do this with triple thick. This is the Brilliant Brush On Gloss Glaze and it's by Americana. You can find this at any of the craft stores um, that sells Americana paints. And this was $1.97 at Michael's. Um, they also have it in the big jars like this. And what I like to do is I like to take a little Dixie cup and pour this into um, the Dixie cup and then just squeeze the cup and pour it into um, here as I go along uh, because I, I use a lot of this. So um, the reason why we need a skin on here is because we want to be able to put on another coat without it soaking in. Okay, So um, as you can see I put some of this on and I'm just going to spread it around making sure that I get all the little edges like so. It's really important that you get the edges. Okay, And as you can see it's already soaked in. Now as it dries what will happen is it'll form a skin on the top and it'll be nice and stiff and um, anything you put on top of this will not soak in. Okay, So I have a little tabletop fan I've been using and I'm going to put this on low and set this under it and this should dry I would say I would give it at least um, at least three or four hours on on each side uh, so there is some preparation to making these butterflies but it will be worth it uh, in the long run so I'm going to allow this to dry and then I'm going to turn it over and do the exact same thing on the back okay and then I'll be back and I'll show you the rest okay so as you can tell this is this is nice and stiff now and the skin has formed. I did the front and the back. So I'm going to set that right down here. And um, you can use any kind of glitter that you'd like. You can use tinsel glitter, fine glitter, chunky glitter, it doesn't matter. Because what is really going to give it that, that extra oomph is going to be this gorgeous medium grit um, German glass glitter and look at how that shines it's just beautiful okay and we'll put that on at the very last <clears throat> so for now I'm going to take some of this triple thick and I'm going to put some on just like this and as you can see it's not soaking in because it has that skin. And I'm 
just going to take my fingers and spread it around to the edges. Now you might get a little too much on there and that's okay. You just do this and just wipe it off on your paper towel if you get a little too much. I'd rather have that than not enough. Okay. And being very careful to get the edges. Alright. I'm just going to fold this over like that so the glitter won't stick to this part. Because what we're going to do next, and oh by the way, this is Recollections Tinsel Glitter called Frost. I'm just going to pour it over the butterfly. Just like that. Then I'm going to come in with my finger and I'm just going to go up and down like this. Making sure I get the, the edges and the tips like so. And I'm going to take a little toothpick instead of lifting up with my fingers because I don't want to touch anything and mess it up. I'm just going to lift it up and then very carefully tip it over. Okay. Now you're going to see all these little fuzzies sticking out if you're using tinsel glitter. And you're just going to go around and push those in. Don't wipe it like that. Just push it in. And go all the way around the butterfly. And of course I can't get in here with my fingers, so I'm going to use my my toothpick. Okay. Push that in. Okay, so I think it's looking pretty nice. Okay, so this is what we have so far. <clears throat> Now, if you can see a little white like this, right around the edge, don't worry about it, okay? And you'll see why towards the end. So um, for now I'm going to set this near my fan and I'm not going to blast it out. I'm just going to put it on low and keep it at a little bit of distance away from the fan because I don't want... Um, the fan blowing this so hard that the tinsel glitter sticks up. <laughs> so I'm not trying to blow my butterfly away. So um, I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll come back and I'll show you the rest. Okay, so I noticed I was a little bit out of frame um, when I was showing you uh, how to put the glitter on the butterfly and everything. So I'll try to be a little more careful of that. I'm sorry about that. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the beautiful glitter glass and so I'm going to start by um, putting some of this triple thick on like that and instead of rubbing this because this is tensile glitter I'm going to take my finger and just do an up and down motion like this all over the butterfly and if you get a little bit of the glitter on your finger don't worry about it because um, this will make sure everything is glued down just putting a couple more dots one thing I love about this triple thick is it dries very clear it's so pretty it doesn't dull the shine of the glitter okay so now I'm going to come in with my um, glass glitter fold this over okay and 
let's see, right here. Right here. And I'm just going to put a fairly small amount in here. I'm going to hold it up a little high and just kind of go back and forth like this on top of the butterfly. And it doesn't take a lot. And when this dries, this is going to be absolutely stunning. So um, I'll go ahead and set this under my fan as well. And um, when it's dry, I'll show you where we go from there. Okay, so this is on here nice and solid. And so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn this over and we're going to put some triple thick on the back and I'm going to add um, some of this glitter to the back of the butterfly. Now this is an inexpensive glitter, it's by Creatology and it is simply called iridescent and the reason why I like to go for the iridescent is because this matches everything. I can put this on the back of all my butterflies, just this one um, shade here and it works beautifully. So I'm going to start by adding some more of this triple thick. And as you can see it does not soak in because it has that skin on there that we put on at the very beginning. And just make sure you get all the edges. If you get a little too much on here, wipe it off just like I showed you. Okay. That and that. There we go. Alright. I'm going to take this off. This lid has been messed up ever since I bought it, and I didn't even notice that it was that way till I brought it home. So I'm just going to pour this over, like so, okay, and I'm going to take my finger up and down, up and down, okay, I'm going to take this off in order to pour the excess glitter back in there. Okay, let me get my toothpick. Lift it up and there we go. I'm going to push in any little fuzzies I see. And even though this feels hard, um, you'll be surprised because once you let it sit and cure for a couple of days you'll realize just how much harder this becomes that's what happened when I first made these you know as I was making them I had some that were um, older that I did and I had let them sit for a couple of days and I picked it up I thought oh my goodness these are hard now <laughs> The wings really won't move or bend or <laughs> so that's the good thing. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to set this under um, my fan on low and I'll be back and we'll do the edges of the butterfly next. Okay, so the back has completely dried and so now we're going to add um, a little border of fine glitter around the edges here. Now you can use some um, ultra fine glitter or you can use the glitter glass and I'm choosing to use this beautiful glitter glass that Debbie sent me and it's an 80 grit in silver and it is a fine glitter. I thought it would look really pretty around the border. So um, I have this little container here full of triple thick and I'm just going to start um, a little at a time and I'm going to 
a little bit like this, just right along the edge, just where the white is, like so. And then I'm going to take this glitter, let me set this down for a minute, and just shake a little bit like this over the top. see it's really pretty and um, if you miss a spot or two and you need to go back in just do it just go back in and just put a little more on there like that and this is so pretty I like this on here and right now we're just doing the edges um, but I'll show you how to put a little tiny bit more on the front part of the butterfly um, to make the lines a little more defined if that's something you want to do. Isn't that beautiful? Okay. And I'm not worried about any of the glitter falling into this glitter because when this is completely dry, I'll take a soft makeup brush and um, just brush brush the glitter off like that. And I like to use those uh, brushes that the Dollar Tree sells. Sometimes they have them in um, the Elf brand. But I haven't seen that in a while. Now they have another brand out. It's, um, oh gosh, I, I can't think of the brand name right now. It's, it's the cheaper brand makeup that puts it out. And it escapes me right now. Pushing in the little fuzzies just a little bit. This is looking really nice. And there's a couple of little parts that I failed to to get, so I'm just going to go back in and fix that. Maybe in here, then right here, like so. And I'll sprinkle a little more of that glitter on top. Okay. And this is the part that you take your time with. You don't have to rush it. These butterflies are meant to be put together as a thoughtful gift for someone. Um, not to try to churn out a hundred of them in two days. <laughs> Otherwise it's going to look like it. Just take your time. I'm thinking that this turned out really pretty. 
So I'm going to allow this to dry and believe it or not it'll dry fairly quickly and then I'll show you how you can come back in and put a little thin line right here in the front to give it a little more uh, definition if that's something that you would like to do. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay, so this is dried around the edges and after giving it some thought I decided not to uh, make a thicker border around the front of the butterfly. Um, you can do that if you want or you can just leave it like I showed you right here. And I think this looks pretty enough. I really love the silver um, glitter glass around the edge. Uh, if you do decide that you want a little thicker border, just put a little bit of triple thick in a little bottle cap and get a little toothpick and just with the tip of the toothpick you can spread it around like this just right on the very edges in the front and then shake your glitter over and do the same process allow it to dry in front of the fan so I'm going on with the next step and you remember this beautiful AB chain that I used in my spoon video and um, also the salt and pepper shaker video well this is the same stuff <clears throat> it's a 4.3 um, millimeter AB chain so I'm going to cut uh, four little rhinestones off for the body of the butterfly and I'll show you how this all goes together Okay, so I'm going to take some E6000 and this is in the clear and I'm just going to run it right here along the body right in the middle and going to place this little chain on. I'm going to turn the butterfly to the side. Just kind of easier for me to put it on. I can see better. Now I'm just going to push these rhinestones together and then I'm going to <clears throat> do this with both of my fingers all the way down. Make sure it's in the middle. Press down. just like so. Okay. Now you'll allow that to dry however um, you're also going to be putting on a bale at the top and the bale is going to look like the butterfly's head. Now honestly it doesn't matter what size bale you use um, however I'm going to be including some links to um, these bales that I bought as well as the larger one and I'll put those links in the drop down bar below as well as on my blog and also in the um, first comment that you see in the comment section down below so that will help you out a little bit. I buy my bales from a lot of different sellers. If you want to look for bales on your own uh, when you go into eBay type in the words glue on bales and don't forget to put in the words glue on because that that will make a difference as to what will pop up. So. Um, I think I'll use this today and what I do is when I glue on this bale if you look the bale suddenly becomes the butterfly's head so I thought that was pretty neat and um, so I'm going to take some E6000 and I do this from the front so I can see exactly where the bale should be because you want to line it up with the rhinestone. You won't, don't want it to look off center. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this in front of my fan again and I know there's a lot of um, drying time in between but honestly um, you could probably do this in a full day um, as far as the drying time goes if you use my suggestion and put your fan on low. So 
Um, now, as far as curing, yes, you should leave it for at least an additional day or two because it will get harder um, as, you know, the longer it sits. So um, I'm going to place this under my fan, and when this is completely dry and hardened, um, then I'll come back and I'll show you how I made the little antennae, and um, we'll slip a ribbon through it and add a couple little embellishments on the wing and then you're finished okay so it's actually a really simple process it's just a matter of being patient um, and allowing for the dry time that's really important okay guys I'll be back in just a second okay so as you can see everything is nice and solid on there and um, this has a nice beautiful glaze and shimmer to this butterfly. And one thing I wanted to point out, a lot of times you may think your butterfly is completely dry because it feels dry to the touch, but the longer it sits you realize, oh wow, there's more of a, of a shine to it, there's more of a glaze, um, a glazed look. So the reason I'm telling you this is because it does need time to cure a little bit and you'll see the true beauty of the butterfly come through. Okay, so before I, I show you how to put on the antennae, we're going to put um, a sheer piece of ribbon in there. And this is the same ribbon I told you about that was made for, um, for necklaces, to make necklaces out of. And so it doesn't fray and it's really a strong mesh. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to cut roughly 12 inches of that off. And there's a reason why I'm putting um, the ribbon on before I put the antennae on, um, and I'll I'll show you in a moment. So I'm just going to cut this. And I'm just going to slip this right on through, like so. Okay, and as you can see, this is exactly the reason why I want to slip this on first. Now, can you imagine if there was antennae here? It would be really, really difficult to get this through because you wouldn't have a lot of room to work. Ask me how I know. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to tie a little overhand knot and you really want to remember that because let me tell you it's a real pain in the neck to try to get this ribbon through after you put the antennae on okay so we have this so um, with the antennae, what I did was I just took, um, you can use gold or silver depending on um, the color of your butterfly, so I'm going to use silver. You need the 20 gauge wire, and you can use any wire that's 20 gauge that's in the craft store. Um, this is just artistic wire, and I'm just going to measure six inches of this, okay? Now you might be asking yourself, well can't I use um, the tensile stems, or you know, or pipe cleaners? Yes, you can do that, but it will be a very different look to your butterfly. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay. Now this See, where did I put that thing? Uh, I had a sample already made up. Oh, here it is. This is, I cut six inches of tinsel stem up, and although it's really cute, it will definitely give your butterfly a different look. So um, it's up to you. To me, it's just as easy using this, this wire. So I'm just going to do this with my finger to kind of straighten it out. The, there are pliers to help you straighten out 
um, the wire. In fact, I have a pair, but if you know, if you if you're not into jewelry making, making, I wouldn't suggest running out and buying this just to straighten wire. You can do it with your fingers as well. Okay. All right. I'm just going to bend this in half like so and I'm just going to leave a little bit of space down here because we're going to glue this around the bale like that okay now on each antenna I'm going to take some round nose pliers and I'm just going to start it out by just curling the very tip like this All right. Now, as I'm curling this tip, I'm going to be pushing this wire up as I'm curling with my hand. I'm or with my finger. I'm pushing this up like so. And when it gets to that point, the wire is soft enough, honestly, where I just keep curling it like this, and I just use my finger. And I'm moving this, pushing it up a little bit as I go. And it's going to be kind of whimsical anyway, so it's not going to be perfect. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Bend the tip down. And I'm just going to roll this down with my finger. like so okay all right and I'm going to lay this right on the back here to see what it looks like on the front it's pretty cute maybe I can roll it down just a little smidgen more like that Not like that and then maybe put a little bend in it this way and then this way. Let's see how that works, okay? Now yeah, that's pretty cute, isn't it? I think so. Alright, so on the back, I'm going to take a toothpick with some E6000. And this is clear, this E6000. So I'm just going to put it around the bale, like so, okay, and then I'm going to lay this down, like so. And I'm just going to put this in front of the fan. It will it will dry. Just have to make sure that it's flat. And believe it or not, it will stay too. Because my other ones did. Okay. There we go. Alright. So I'm just going to um, go ahead and let this dry like I said oh my goodness okay all right that should be okay if I can get it to lay flat this always happens on camera never happens when I'm putting this together without you guys watching <laughs> okay there we go now I feel like it's stuck. All right, so um, I'll go ahead and put that in front of my fan to completely dry, and then I'll post these little butterflies on my blog. Oh, I almost forgot the little um, embellishment on the side. Okay, so maybe I can do that now. 
Yeah, I think I will. Okay, so um, I bought these these little resin hearts here from a Chinese seller, and I'll give you this link as well in case you want it. You don't have to do this. I just thought it was cute. And these are 10 millimeter resin hearts, and um, I got them for 99 cents for 100 pieces. going to put a little here. I'm going to tilt it and then I'm going to put another little heart right next to it, kind of at an angle as well, like so. I just really think it gives it that little extra something. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. And um, once again, you know, be sure to check out um, Debbie's uh, shop and I'll go ahead and post all the links you'll need in the first comment below as well as the drop down bar that says show more below the video and on my blog and um, on my uh, Facebook as well. So thank you so much and you guys take care and God bless each and every one of you. Have a beautiful day.